It's Christmas time and she wants to get away from me. <laughs> guys what's going on so today we are watching gremlins which i'm so excited about because this is a movie that has been on my list to watch for years and i've never actually seen gremlins and yes this movie does seem maybe more like it could it should be like a halloween horror type movie but i've heard it's technically a christmas movie like it takes place during christmas time so we're doing it as a Christmas movie for this month. Happy holidays everyone, we're watching Gremlins. Let's get started everyone, I'm so excited. I say that in every video, but I'm so excited. Is this the oldest movie I've reacted to on this channel? I think so. Yeah, the oldest one prior to this was like, either it was Scooby-Doo I think. Now we're watching a movie from the 80s. That's fun, this is from the 80s, right? It all started here in Chinatown. Chinatown, this is set in New York? Why didn't you just go to like, Target? Or were there Targets in the 80s? Or like, go to a toy store in Manhattan? Oh my god. What is, this is the place that has the gremlins? I know like somewhat a little bit about the story. I know it's like these creepy little pets that like look cute and are, I think they're exciting for the main characters at first and then they like turn evil at night or something? I don't really know. I'm surprised I've avoided the plot of this movie for so long. And you push this button. Oh. I mean, he, he tried. It's a it's a valiant effort. Valiant effort, I meant. He's got the bones of, a, of an invention I can see working. I feel like that type of invention wouldn't really work with this theme of the store here. This is very much kind of, you know, you know. This store would not fit with like a gadget like that. This is a very like spiritual... Asian architectural stuff like antiques and relics and gremlins. I don't think a tool that would help with packing and like convenience and stuff really fit. He's not re he's not really going for his target demographic there. He's like perfect. An unknown species as a present for my kid. And keep him away from water. Don't get him wet. But the most imp What does he drink? So, if he can't be around water, what what does the animal drink? Is it a type of animal that only survives off of, like, food? Polly Holiday? I don't know who that is, but that's a fun name. Ow! What the hell is this? <laughs> now, why would you be hiding in a Christmas tree? Oh my god, I love snow so much. How dare I live somewhere where it doesn't snow? So is this the kid who's gonna be given the gremlin? I, was, I thought the kid was going to be, like, 12. Chris Columbus, isn't that the guy who directed the first Harry Potter movie and the second one? Does he work at a bank? He looks like a teenager and he works at a bank? I was expecting, like, him to work at a restaurant. Oh my god, he's wearing a full-on tux. How old is this kid? Oh wait, that's not a tux. It's just, like, a suit. <laughs> he's allowed to have his dog with him up at work at a bank? She looks like a teenager too. Is this like a high school internship or something? Watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch what? What is there to watch? The snowman head? Is that like delicate or something? Cause it doesn't look breakable. It looks like you already broke it, so. Mrs. Deagle, it's Christmas. Well now you know what to ask Santa for, don't you? She gonna like get a good heart by the end of the movie? Like a Scrooge turn into someone who cares about Christmas and all that stuff by the end? I want your dog. What's up with that? You can't just take someone's dog. I'll take him to the kennel. They'll put him to sleep. It'll be quick and painless compared to what I could do to him. Oh my god, I hate her. Oh, I have a very weak heart. I can't stand a shot like that. What is that dog doing? He's defending himself against someone who threatened to kill him. I recognize him. Who was that? Gerald Hopkins? Oh, who, what has he been in? Oh, that is so fake. I recognize him. What is he in? Gerald Hopkins, what are you in? Oh, oh, 
Oh, he was in the Santa Claus trilogy. That's what I know him from. That was it. Santa Claus 3 was on TV a couple days ago, so I was watching that. And he was on, so he was in it, so I'm pointing to where my TV is, but yeah. That's where I know him from. Ooh. That's a hazard. Is that It's a Wonderful Life? I think so. <gasps> That's such a cool device. It seems like it doesn't work that well, but the idea is there. Oh, it's one of the dad's inventions, isn't it? Is the gremlin wrapped in that Christmas box? Because I feel like he's not getting any air in there. Did he poke some holes in it to make sure? What is it, a bird cage? A bird cage? Are you saying you have a bird to put in the bird cage? I am concerned as to how the welfare of this dog is going to be by the end of this movie. That dog better be alive and healthy and happy and with his owner. With this kid. It's an unknown species I decided to get for you, despite no one knowing how to actually raise an animal like this. Okay, he's really cute. That is a cute gremlin. So the movie's called Gremlins. Where does the multiple gremlins come into this? Right now there's only one. I feel like if it was just, just this one the whole time, it'd be named Gremlin, the movie. But it's Gremlins. So there must be, does he have kids? Does this gremlin have a kid at some point by himself or herself? Oh! Oh, he went and hugged him! Oh, that's so cute! He hugged- Okay, wait, I'm a fan of this gremlin. He is just an innocent little creature. Away from water. Don't give him any water to drink. So what does he drink for sustenance? Milk? Or does he just not drink anything? I feel like this is important information. If you are going to be owning him as a pet, if he's going to be yours, you need to know what you need to give him to eat and to drink. Oh, a singer. Oh, he's a little musician. Oh, I love this little creature. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love trying to stick Aunt, uh, Santa hats on cats slash gremlins like this. This is adorable. No, he can't get a bath. He can't get a bath. Do you not remember step two? Rule two? Oh, do not give him a bath. Okay, there you go. Okay. Oh, he's just putting on a band-aid. Or, like, whatever that is. I can't really... T oh, oh. Oh. Um, gauze, I think, is the name, right? Is, did he get that injured? I did They didn't really show the injury that well. Did not see that he was that injured. Like, well, what in the trash can injured him? Was it just because of the bump? Or was there something, like, sharp in there? Can I guess? Let's see. Giz, that's cute. Oh, that is so cute. I love that little gremlin so much. Oh, he's trying another one of his dad's inventions. Oh, <laughs> that worked. <laughs> is this the kid who literally stands in the tree? See, I don't think this is a good tree. There's no base on the tree. I feel like a tree should not be capable of a kid being inside the tree. That's not a sturdy tree. The, he's literally wearing the tree. Or is it? was he carrying a tree that I just didn't see? Oh, that ruined the entire bathroom. He has to clean up the whole bathroom now. He wants to be a race car driver. That's not a race car. Or is that a race car? What are those things called? It's like a... It's like how race car driving used to be back in the day. His name's Gizmo. <gasps> Gizmo! My parents had a cat named Gizmo before I was born. Was Gizmo named after this little gremlin? <laughs> Howie Mandel voices the gremlin? Howie Mandel as in the judge on America's Got Talent? <gasps> oh no! 
Oh no! He's like. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, is it gonna turn into another gremlin? Does water make them. like. populate into more of them? Oh my god! Oh my god! Are there more of them? Oh my god! Water makes it multiply! Oh! These are little vicious babies! Oh, What's the matter? Is he disappointed that he just birthed a new f five new gremlins? Did it hurt? I guess it felt- it seemed like it hurt. Oh my god, he's playing the trumpet! These gremlins are musicians! <gasps> he's playing video games! These are little rambunctious creatures. Where's Gizmo? Gizmo was really relaxed and cute. Those other ones are just a handful. Okay, there's sweet Gizmo. We st we love Gizmo in this house. The others, I'm not so sure about yet. They have not earned my trust yet. <gasps> oh, we know that's cute. Okay, maybe they can learn to be calm. Little cute animals and not just little fiends. He tucked them all in. That's so cute. <laughs> Now what did the dog ever do to you, little mischief gremlin? Oh, and is he gonna think it's the mean old woman? When it's really the gremlin? Now watch this. Oh, you're gonna do it again? I feel like it hurts the little creatures. Now you're just gonna have more of them to take care of. What are you doing? Aw, it's Christmas carolers. That's not really something that's done anymore. I haven't really heard of people, like, actually Christmas caroling, like, going door to door. That's not really a thing. Which is kind of sad. Oh, this is making me really sad. I don't think, like, yeah, this is an unknown creature, but we should not be, like, experimenting on them like this. Let's more just, like, study them in a nice way. Okay, he was just taking blood. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought he was going to, like, inject him with something. That's so cute. That is so cute. We love Gizmo in this house. Well, now what are they all doing? What are they doing? How, why is Gizmo so much more advanced than these ones? Is, is it because they're all like babies, I guess? And Gizmo is like an adult, so Gizmo has learned how to calm down? Oh my god, they have their own language. I also love how Gizmo like does not want to associate with them. Like, he's up there reading his little comic newspaper thing and it's like no the the others i don't associate with them they're all they're all <laughs> did you see that face he made <laughs> he's like they're all uncivilized i'm the civilized one here who can sing and read <gasps> oh no he's gonna get some of the food after midnight oh my god they're both falling asleep at the same time that's so cute they're all missing what is that oh no did he feed them after midnight? Did I for- did he forget it was after midnight? Did I not even catch it was after midnight when he fed in the chicken? Is that all them? Well, I gave them some chicken. That's- That's feeding them. Idiot! Oh, is your clock broken? Oh... They tricked him! Is he gonna like- are they gonna evolve into some- something? Yeah, they're like butterflies. They're gonna turn into something else. What are they gonna turn into? I've only ever seen, like, pictures of these gremlins at the stage they were at. Do they just get scarier looking, maybe? Why are you painting a gingerbread man yellow? That's kind of odd choice. And you're doing it all with all of them. You're trying to give them all blonde hair? Oh my god, it's in the box. Did you put holes in the box to make sure that this evolved creature could, um breathe it's green on the inside there's a green light oh my god oh my god gizmo is so frightened gizmo does not deserve gizmo should have been taken to work with with the with the kid he does not deserve to witness this he is a respectful perfect little animal who doesn't do any harm these creatures are the mischief ones Mis mischievous ones Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! They had to go to school on Christmas Eve? Was there no such thing as a Christmas break back then? Oh my god. He looks so frightened. This is not fair to do to him. 
Oh my god, I feel so bad for Gizmo. Please, the kid, get there quickly to save Gizmo from whatever monstrosities are in there. I would pick your hand up, he could bite your hand. I would not put your fingers near there, he could bite your hand off. We don't know what this creature's capable of. Oh my god, you're putting your whole hand... No, just set the candy down out in an like, open area and watch him come to it. Yep, see, there we go. He's gonna bite his hand off. Or at least maybe a finger, not sure which one. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Did he die? Mr. Hansen? Did the gremlin kill him? Oh my god. The gremlin stuck him with his with a needle? Full of what? Oh my god, and there's five of them at home. You need to get home and get Gizmo. Oh my god. Get home. Just abandon this one. Lock him in the door. Lock him in. Bar him in with some desks. And get out and go save your, your nice, sweet little gremlin at home. He literally killed the teacher. Oh my god, he escaped. Oh, he's going to... Oh no. Okay, smart. Level-headed. Fixing his hand real quickly. This guy's got- he's got some brains. Oh my god. Okay, wait, I've seen that before. I've seen- I just didn't remember that the gremlins turned into that. I only remember the image of them, like, being cute and fluffy. Oh! Um, no! Wait a minute! I'm about to cry. I'm seriously about to cry. This image right here? Is the most heartbreaking thing I've seen in a little bit, in like a couple weeks. His eyes. Oh my god, I'm seriously about to cry. The kid better get home and save Gizmo. I'm literally crying. Oh my god. That literally made me just cry. Girl, get up there and save the sweet one. And bring a knife. Oh my god. Gizmo is the sweetest little creature in the whole world. He didn't try and do anything bad. I swear if he gets killed with the rest by the end of this movie, I am going to be so angry. I'm really stressed out now. I'm not going to be enjoying this until I see Gizmo safe. I'm looking less scared. Get out of the house. Get Gizmo while you're at it. Get home and get Gizmo. Get your dog. Where's the dog? Oh my god, they started music. These creatures are so smart. They are literally trying to like torture these humans. And what did and what did they ever do to them? It's like these creatures are literally evil because they've treated them nicely. At least with the teacher. I could see the, the that one wanting to get revenge on the teacher because he he like took some blood from him. Like, okay, not cool. But like these, you know, he he fed them some chicken. He wrapped them up all nicely to go to sleep. It was adorable. He, they've done, they've been treated very nicely since they were born. So these are just evil little creatures. Meanwhile, Gizmo has not done a thing wrong in his life, and he deserves all the happiness in the world. And I'm gonna be so angry if something happens to Gizmo. Literally, all I care about is Gizmo at the Gizmo at this point. Like the dog's fine wherever the dog is. We haven't seen him getting tortured or anything, but Gizmo is in need of some help. Oh my God, the shadow. Wow, they're so smart. Ooh. Oh my god, look at that. Ooh. Oh my god. That is so violent. You know, it is evil, but I kind of felt bad there. That was... Ooh. Harsh. Oh my god, she's brutal. Like, I get it, but jeez. <gasps> no! No! She is intense! How did kids watch- this is like kind of like- isn't this like rated PG or something? How did kids watch this? I would have been scarred if I watched this as a kid. Not only seeing just the cute fluffy creatures get like, you know, turned into evil ones, but then seeing her literally murder these- creatures yeah they're not really innocent creatures anymore but they're like still creatures that maybe i don't know they couldn't be released in the wild they're too intelligent for that i don't know what to do with them i honestly don't know 
It just feels so intense to already just be straight up killing them. Oh, one's in the stocking. Why are the other two stockings so small? There's like one large stocking and then two like baby stockings. They can barely fit anything in them. Oh, they're gonna be in the tree. Oh, yep, there it is. The eyes. Did you see those glowing eyes? Wow. You could be running a little faster than that. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess the only the only thing to do in this type of circum circumstance is self-defense. They are literally trying to kill her. Still. Oh my god, they just decapitated the gremlin. Oh my god! I was not expecting this movie to be this violent. Yeah, you're gonna see the murderous destruction your mom laid on those other three. Yeah, get Gizmo, please. Hurry. I'm so scared of what what's happened with Gizmo. Oh, sweetheart. Oh. Oh, good. Oh, thank God. He must be so scared. Oh, thank God Gizmo's okay. I was really concerned. Oh, good. Keep Gizmo with you. Gizmo... Where's the dog? He just abandoned the dog. <laughs> Is the dog with the dad, maybe? Because he said he was on vacation. <gasps> oh. Oh, no. He just went- he just jumped into a pool, meaning he is gonna mult- he knew what he was doing there. He's gonna multiply into, like, thousands of them. Oh, this is bad. And since he's probably in evil mode, it's probably gonna spawn a bunch of evil mode ones, right? Looks like it with all the green. Oh my god. Yeah, I'd call, like, the police at this point. Or call someone. I'd get a team. This is too much for you now. You could do with one. But now there's millions of them, probably. Something like... Yeah, make sure you have... You have, what's his name? Gizmo, right? Get out. This is beyond you now. Just act like you have nothing to do with it. Act like you don't know what's going on. Oh my god. They're all going- Oh, look at them. And Stripe's the leader. What is with these baby stockings? They've learned how to drive! See, now here's my question. Do these little things in their evil mode still get killed by sunlight? Because if so, they just need to survive till day. And then boom. All gone. I mean, I guess they'd hide. They'd probably, like, hide in dark areas. Oh my god, he's speaking. He's saying Deagle. They're evolving. They're getting it so they can speak. Oh my god. Where did they get the little hats and scarves and, like, sheet music? Oh, of course they somehow rewired it to make it go fast. How- how long are those stairs? Oh my god, did she die? This is such a violent movie. I should start the car because I really like to go back to the station. Oh, wimp! This is your job, is to protect them. You can't just go back to the station. I love how Gizmo's just, like, completely taken over the role of the dog. The dog's just gone. The dog's on vacation with the dad. Did you clean the windshield? It still looks pretty snowy. How could you be driving right now? You cannot see a thing. They've evolved. They're literally drinking and smoking. These are so such evolved creatures. That one is literally wearing wig, a wig, a hat, and lipstick. And an earring. Two earrings. Where did that one get a little gun from? I don't even think there are guns that small that actually shoot something. They've turned into little human beings. Chaotic ones. Oh my god. What is going on here? Oh my god. That is so... Is that a reference to Flashdance? Oh my god. Oh my god. Where is that tiny gum from? Where did that come from? He was dressed in a Santa Claus suit. Oh. He'd been climbing down the chimney on Christmas Eve. His arms loaded with presents. He was gonna surprise us. He slipped and broke his neck. He died instantly. Oh my god. 
No wonder she hates Christmas. This movie is so dark. Are they all going to be watching the movie? Oh my god. They're setting up the movie. This is hysterical. Maybe they don't know how to set up the movie. Maybe they're not even trying. I'm not sure at this point. Oh no, they did it. They were just messing around with some of the tapes, but it looks like they got one of them. Yep, it got one of them to work. But see, wouldn't this be slightly too bright of a light for them? It's kind of bright. They're going to start singing hi-ho. This is insane. Oh, he's singing it from outside the theater. That is the cutest thing in the world. Oh, we love... We love... Gizmo in this house. I keep trying to call Gizmo Grogu. <laughs> He's reminding me of Grogu right now. Y'all know, Baby Yoda, Mandalorian. That is such a large theater. So many gremlins. Oh, he went, uh-oh. There we go. It's a shame they had to blow up the movie theater to do that. That's such a nice theater, it seemed like. I can't believe this movie. I cannot believe how advanced the gremlins are. Now how did how did Stripe do that? How did he get on the TV monitors? Oh, there's like a see yourself on TV thing. Okay, that makes sense. I was about to be like, he's a wizard. How'd he get himself on TV? Oh no. Oh, please don't let Gizmo get involved in this. I cannot take it if Gizmo, something happens to Gizmo. Gizmo, what are you gonna do? Is it daytime? Don't sacrifice yourself, Gizmo. I swear to God. I'm so nervous right now. Gizmo better not do this. He better not do what I think he's gonna do. Okay, come on, Gizmo. Do this in a way that doesn't sacrifice yourself. Please. Don't, don't get all sacrificial. Don't get all heroic. Don't sacrifice yourself. Oh, okay, the dog was with the dad. Please be careful, Gizmo. Oh, please be careful, Gizmo. Please. This movie is almost kind of too stressful for me. Like, usually I can take stressful movies, but this one's going a little too far for me. I'm the most stressed out. Great. Great. Good. Oh, okay. Well, if, if they open the sun, they'll all die. So th this isn't really an issue. My main concern is Gizmo. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. His eyes. Oh, my God. Gizmo. You're okay. You're okay. Shake it off. Oh, please be careful, be careful. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Please, Gizmo, be careful. Please don't get in the sunlight, Gizmo. Hide yourself, Gizmo, please. I'm so scared. Alright, they're not showing anything happening to Gizmo right now, so he should be good. Wow. That is so disturbing. So he killed himself. He, got he died before he could multiply any... Oh, he's protected in the plants. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, I've never been... S oh, my God. He's just a little baby. Oh, he's so precious. Oh, my God. He's still alive. I wouldn't leave until those bubbles stop pulsating like that. You, you got to be careful. That could be another one trying to form or something. I guess we're good, though. Oh, 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 that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Don't take him away. He can protect him. Don't take him away. The kid will protect him now. They know. They know how to, how to, they know how to, uh, care for him now. He's happy there. Perhaps someday you may be ready. He Until said then, Mokwai will be waiting. He said goodbye. I'm about to cry. There, ha the kid has to get M Gizmo back, right? It can't end with him going away. He's learned now. He knows what to not to do. They just ended it like that. 
He didn't even get to keep Gizmo. He learned. He knew what not to do. Gizmo was so happy there. He read books with him. He watched TV. He slept in bed. He, it was... I'm actually angry. <laughs> I'm actually sincerely angry. Like, at least, at least Gizmo didn't seem too sad at the end that he was leaving. He told him goodbye. He knew he had to go. He knew he didn't belong. And yeah, I guess uh, gremlin little creatures like that don't belong with humans like that. But like, you know, the other guy... What else? He, is he just gonna sit in that box? What is the other guy gonna do with him? The, uh, the kid, uh, Billy, I think is his name, treated him so well and cared for him. It was an honest mistake, and he fixed it, you know? It, it, they did rain a little destruction, but he fixed it in the end, and he's not gonna let it happen again. I'm angry. I really enjoyed that movie, but I'm just kind of angry with how that ended. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I really was hoping that the dad or the kid would do something, or, or Gizmo himself would do something to stop, to stop him from leaving to make it to convince him that he could take care of him and that everything was going to be okay because he learned his lesson even though to begin with it was an accident the gremlins did it themselves and it was because of that kid originally see literally billy didn't do any of it that other kid accidentally spilt water on gizmo and so then Gizmo multiplied and five more came out. And then those five were the evil mischief mischievous ones that made the clock not go correctly, which made Billy accidentally not think that it was uh, past midnight. So literally none of it was his fault to begin with. He didn't do anything. All that happened because of others. First the kid, then the other gremlins, but mainly that kid. That kid is to blame. The kid could not raise Gizmo. But that he was doing flawlessly. He did. He didn't. He made sure there was no um, direct light. He made sure that he didn't get hit with water. He wasn't feeding him after midnight. He was perfectly taking care of him. And Gizmo was so happy there with him. They were all so happy. Did you see him watching TV? I I can't believe they ended it like that. Like, yeah, it makes sense. But it's not. It's not a happy ending in my opinion. I don't think that was happy at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I did not expect to be leaving it on an angry mood uh, for me. Um, comment down below what you guys think of this movie. Comment down below what you think of Gizmo. Gizmo is one of my new favorite little adorable creatures in any movie or TV, medium, show, whatever. He's one of my favorites now. I would die for Gizmo. That is a, such a cute little gremlin, and I love him. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, also, be sure to follow me on social media. My Instagram is at Rachel Rimini. My Twitter is at Rachel underscore Rimini. And my letterbox is just my name, Rachel Rimini. And for those of you who don't know, letterbox is pretty much just like a social media site, but for films and stuff like that, I highly recommend you check it out. There's like a website for it and an app, both called Letterboxd. So highly, highly recommend going and checking out that website if you're a fan of film or the entertainment industry or anything like that. It's a really fun site. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. I think this is gonna be the last video I upload before Christmas. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Uh, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye. Let's see what Ophelia's doing, everyone, since she fell asleep about halfway through the movie. And here she is. Oh my god, she is just the cutest little creature. This is my little gizmo. This is my little gremlin. She's so cute. Look at her. Okay. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays from Ophelia and I.